How to get the most out of smart goals in language learning. Perfecting your plan through feedback. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of English language learning. Specifically, we'll focus on an absolutely vital component of your test preparation strategy. Setting smart goals and refining them through feedback. Stick around to know how this can revolutionize the way you learn and practice English. Before we dive into feedback and refining, let's quickly revisit what SMART goals are. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-bound. These criteria help you create focused and actionable objectives whether it's for improving your vocabulary or acing that upcoming TOEFL exam. Now, let's talk about feedback. You've probably heard the saying that, feedback is the breakfast of champions. Well, it's true, especially when it comes to language learning. Feedback can come from different sources. Teachers, who can provide professional advice on your progress. Peers, who are also in the process of learning and can offer a different perspective. Self-assessment, by re-evaluating your own skills and understanding your own strengths and weaknesses. Alright, so how do you actually receive feedback on your SMART goals? Here are some tips. 1. Be open. Prepare yourself mentally to accept feedback, positive or negative. 2. Ask specific questions. Instead of just asking, how am I doing? Ask questions tied to your SMART goals like, do you think my goal of learning 50 new words a week is achievable? 3. Document. Make sure to note down the feedback so you can revisit it later. So you've got your feedback. Now what? The next step is to refine your SMART goals based on that feedback. Here are some steps to guide you. 1. Revisit the S specific. Is your goal too broad or too narrow based on the feedback? Adjust accordingly. 2. Check the M measurable. Can you actually measure your progress? 3. Re-examine the A achievable. Is the goal realistic? If multiple sources tell you it's too ambitious or too easy, make changes. 4. Assess the R relevant. Does the goal still align with your long-term objectives? 5. Time check the T time bound. Given the feedback, do you need to adjust your timeline? Let's say your initial goal was to improve English vocabulary for the IELTS exam in two months. Feedback from your teacher indicates this is too broad. A refined SMART goal could be Learn and practice 10 new English vocabulary words related to technology for the IELTS exam every week for the next eight weeks. Notice how the feedback helped refine each component of the SMART goal. There you have it. Feedback is not just an optional extra. It's a core part of your learning process. It can be the difference between sticking to a poorly defined, unrealistic goal and a smart goal that guides you to success. We hope this video helps you understand the importance of feedback and how to refine your smart goals for effective English language learning. See you in the next video, and until then, keep practicing.